Welcome to Behind the Scenes. This episode will bring you exclusive scenes that's not on the original video. So we'll be showing you exactly how we made the network, how we designed it, and what went into the video creation. This is Behind the Scenes of BGB uh, Daisy Chain. Uh, we're going to be recording all on iPhone. And just switching past and switching into here. So Rob is currently setting up the um, the network design in Packet Tracer, and then we're going to be using the real kits, um, as you can see now. So yeah. <coughs> okay, Tega. So we're going to have basically um, one going up there, one going down <coughs> here, and then one across here, and then probably a few going down here. We're going to use the um, fast Ethernet cables, just so it, just so, just to avoid confusion. Yeah. So uh, not really a crossover, no, because of the fact that um, if we do that, then it could impact the configuration. And usually with crossovers, you usually have those with switches. And we'll get these on, so... I would have probably um, done all that on the one switch and then cover them. Switch, you mean router? Yeah. <laughs> it's not, we're not doing frames, we're doing packets. Just so you know. As you can see, I'm being very productive. Currently sat nowhere. Zero, zero, one. They're just working away over there. Okay, so as you can see, we're about a third of the way there. So we've got one um, part of the daisy chain set up, and this is going to be the uh, class A um, network of 10, and then we're going to have class A 20 and class A 30. So at the moment, we're just kind of negotiating um, how we're going to make this. Now, the reason why it's a daisy chain is because we've actually got the frame which goes on the outer edges here, and then we also have um, another, let's say, couple of links going in the middle. We're going straight through the middle. So, yeah. So, so creating a large, a large cluster of, uh, of, ra of routers internet interconnected together. Now, uh, using using class A on that so and uh, so, so as you can see here, the um, uh, the routers the routers on on route one are interconnected with routers on them. On rack three, and they were interconnected with rack with rack four and rack two. Okay, and um, as well as Tay was mentioning as well, uh, the concept is going to be all class A, and um, the scheme is going to be where we have um, racks one to three using the um, starting octet, which is ten and starting octet which is 20 from rack 3 to rack 4 and then rack 4 to rack 2 with the uh, starting octet is 30. The um, last octets are going to be the same like for each one so you'll have basically in this case all the middle um, routers will have 10.0.0.32, 20.0.0.32 and 30.0.0.2 vice versa. Okay. Rob's about to start the uh, video now on his phone so I'm going to be handing it off to him. We thought you'd like to see some behind the scenes footage of some bloopers. So, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to The Land Detectives. My name is Rob Scott and I'm the founder of the group. I'm Reese, and I am the co-founder of the group. I'm, I'm Tegan and I'm the uh, general manager. And today we're going to be presenting to you a special project that um, I uh, came up with and it's known as... I forgot the name. Uh, so we've got 12 rivers, the ones in the middle. Oh yeah, why didn't we think of that to begin with? Three, two, one, go. Hey guys! I didn't wave. Three, two, one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Scott and I'm the founder of The Land Detectives. And I'm Reese McCaskill and I'm the co-founder of The Land Detectives. And I'm Tegel and I'm the uh, general manager of The Land Detectives. And today we're going to be bringing you a special project that I actually had in mind, and that is known as... The, BG, the, the BGB. <laughs> Do it again. Hey guys, welcome to the Land Detectives YouTube channel. My name is Rob. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> Everyone try and wave at the same time. Like, okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, welcome to the Land Detectives YouTube channel. My name is Rob, the founder. I'm Reese McCaskill, the co-founder of The Land Detectives. And I'm Tego Mogu and I'm the um, general manager. And today we're going to be presenting to you a project that I actually had in mind, and that is known as... BCG, the BGB Data Shoot. Do it again. Sorry. 
<laughs> read from the read from the title there. Go right. Start again. Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, welcome to the Land Detectives YouTube channel. My name is Rob Scott, the founder. And I'm Rhys McCaskill, the co founder I'm taking over the um, general manager. And today we're going to be presenting to you a project that I once had in my mind, and that is known as BCT, the BGPD. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Lands Tech YouTube channel. My name is Rob Scott, the founder. And I'm Reese McCaskill, the co-founder. <laughs> and the just laughed. Three, two, one, go. Hey guys. I'll wait for start again. Bollocks. Right. It took a fair few amount of outtakes to finally get things on track. So on the final one, we finally got things right and we agreed to keep it. Three, two, one, go. Hey guys. Welcome to the Land Detectives YouTube channel. My name is Rob Scott, the founder. And I'm Rhys McCaskill, the co-founder. And I'm Tego Momogo, the general manager. And today we're going to be presenting to you a special project that I once had in my office. After finally getting the previous video correct, we're finally moving on to the next part of the video. Yeah. Okay. All right, ready? So we have four racks with three routers in each rack, and we'll be configuring BGP on the serial cables and EIGLP on the fast ethernet cables. And fast ethernet Try not to stutter, okay? <coughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go. As you can see on the screen, there are four racks with three. So as you see there, we uh, actually got things on track and things were finally going smooth for us. So we decided to move on to actually implementing the design. And that is next. So we start off with the uh, outer frame, so that's the Ethernet. And then we'll have a look at the patch panels and then we'll just uh, start from there. So, if I remember correctly, if we have four um, press ethernets. Do you want me to do anything? Um, okay. I'm like literally just sat here, stood here, whatever. If you could plan out um, where the serial link is going to go, then that'll be good. struggling a bit here, it's great. Okay, so as you can see now, Reese is just setting up the uh, CLIs and um, as we go over here, we are about two thirds of the way done. And as you can see, we've started off uh, pretty well. There was a few hiccups um, in the uh, first nook and this was down to the fact that as we go underneath the serial cables, this uh, router here doesn't have uh, the operating system, so we've had to move down um, just a few meters, I should say, to routers that do have the um, iOS put onto them. So, yeah, we can carry on. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we've had a little bit of a flaw, and um, that was down to the fact that the serial interfaces that were on Packet Tracer weren't the exact ones on the real kit. So, what we're going to do is physically plan out um, the serial interfaces on the real kit as well as on the board over here. So we've done a slight modification especially with these particular cables um, and that was down to the fact that we noticed that uh, for each router we have just one serial link. For this one we have three serial links. So yeah, we just need to just uh, rectify that somehow and um, plan that out and then hopefully we will uh, get this uh, ball rolling. However, we have completed the outer frame, so all around the routers. Um, we need to just sort out the crisscross and also the one that's going right through the middle, which is the actual daisy chain. Due to the error in the uh, design, we now have to tear down the network and start again. I'm also uh, helping tear down the network again because of the mistake. So, kind of doing two things at once. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, how are we going on? How's it going even? <coughs> this will be temporarily put over here. Sorry guys, you can't see. Right, so we're going to have to, um, so right, so... Cable ties 11, for the... Yes. 11 to 33, zero, zero, zero. Sorry, hang on. Balls. 
serial cables need to go. But also, everything's wrong. <laughs> So fast Ethernet 01 needs to have uh, 10 0, 0, 12. So from so that one's going to be 12. That one's going to be um, 13. So 14. 13, 14. So right, what I'll do is I'll actually um, console in. We came across an issue where we didn't have enough uh, serial interface cards, so we ended up swapping unused ones with the ones you see now. And finally, we got onto the process of uh, actually doing some work. Um, actually putting in our IP addresses and setting up EIGRP and BGP to communicate with each other, which was a challenge in itself. Uh, it's also kind of funny to see it all in time lapse, especially seeing as it's a pretty long video. So, yeah, that's what we did. Um, so, at the moment, um, yeah, we're just sorting everything out. I'm in control of the network area over here, uh, whilst Rob is in charge of actually uh, putting the stuff into the uh, networking tables, whilst I switch him over through the console cables to the different routers. So, um, quite an interesting process going on here, uh, and also very complex as well, because we did make a few mistakes here as well. Let's patch it back. We have finally managed to configure BGP and EIGRP. And as you can see, that's a very big routing table. And over here as well, we're using routers 42 and 32. And um, we're now going to do a little outro. So stay tuned for that. OK, cool. So um, how are we doing the outro, Rob? Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll just sit down on these chairs here where we were before and we'll just explain everything. Okay, cool. This is just um, Rob getting the last pieces of information here. I'm trying to be as quiet as I possibly can because he is actually recording. Um, yeah, impressive stuff. Like We uh, configured it all from over here. So, so this is the command line, um, which we're on my own, we're in 11. So let's uh, enable into this and show the bird. There you go. And that's BGP and EIGRP communicating with each other. And we can see all the networks here. Pretty cool, right? Right. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this um, as much as we did making it because uh, it was pretty fun. Um, so, yeah, you can see not one single light is out. And Rob is finished. So, Almost. I can speak normally now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is an insane amount of work. Um, we didn't end up using these. Um, we've got a few more project ideas from about over here. So, we've got the IP phones. Um, a bunch more of serial connections for some reason uh, and there's a little capture the flag uh, event going on over here um, in which we may record later on because we're attending one of them um, they're pretty good events but more on that nearer the time okay so that's it we're now going to shut down everything bye bye work that took us seven hours and then off we go rip <laughs> yeah sure thing but yeah, uh, I quite enjoyed uh, having large routing tables, and actually that was the very first time I ever witnessed having large routing tables, so hmm. yeah, let's just unplug all that. Oh, you got to plug through. Yeah. Watch this. What is... And... That's why we use cable ties. Uh, cable ties. <laughs> Can speak. Velcro ties, yeah. Yeah. Um...
Yeah, this has been quite a fun project, and now we're just tearing everything down. Like it didn't even matter to begin with. Rip. Rip. This is the magical hallway with Rob just doing Rob stuff. <laughs> they, they you're recording, me, Huh? Oh yeah, I am recording. We do time lapse. No. Just I was walking out. Actually what you could do is have um <clears throat> plus just walking out of putting the boat or mounting the boat on here. And then just, you know, doing a high five at the end to say that we did it. That's a bit cheesy. <laughs> it's not. Call the elevator. So that concludes our behind-the-scenes episode of um, BGP. So we've enjoyed making this so much, guys. Uh, we'll be making a lot more videos like this in future, including behind-the-scenes. So for more, stay tuned, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.